What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how to install and use Vivetool. Now, this is definitely a more involved program, and it's definitely something you'll want to look into if you like tweaking Windows. Essentially, Windows comes packed with tons of new features and updates, as you'd expect, but some of them are stuck in a development period where they'll be disabled by default, even though they're included in your Windows distribution, and the only way to enable them is by changing hidden flags on your computer. That's that's exactly what Vivetool aims to do. It's not too often updated, but essentially it keeps an up-to-date list of those hidden IDs that you can simply toggle on and off as you please. You've probably seen a few of these pop up in the forms of enabling the gallery on Windows, for example. This can be enabled through one of those IDs, assuming you're on a canary build, which is part of the Windows Insider program. You can join it, but you're going to be running a really buggy version of Windows. But with stable distributions of Windows, the normal update cycle, there still are a few hidden features that you could enable or disable. And that's exactly what this program is for. Now to install it, you can simply download the release here, extract the zip into your Windows folder, but I've made it even easier. And I've even set it up to work with the Vive GUI tool, giving you a graphical interface if you don't want to deal with the command line. This is another one of my quick one-line install scripts, so if you find these useful, please do click the join button down below as these useful scripts do take some time to create and of course maintain. On Windows 11, I'll open Terminal as admin. On Windows 10, you'll need to open PowerShell as admin, unless you have Terminal installed. Then if you open up Terminal, simply make sure you see PowerShell, otherwise choose it from the drop down here. We'll be typing in IEX space open bracket IRM Vive tool dot TC dot HT and close brackets. This will go ahead and connect to my open source install script that lets you choose whether you want a Vivetool or Vivetool GUI installed. Now, of course, Vivetool, you can install by just entering one here. It'll download, extract, and add it to your system path, allowing you to run the command anywhere you want. It's the same as extracting it into your Windows folder, but you won't have to worry about messing with your Windows files. If I reopen my terminal and run Vivetool, you'll see this response here, meaning it's successfully installed. We can enable certain features and things like that, as you would hope. Now, of course, guessing these numbers is pretty much impossible, and it really relies on people finding them and sharing what they do. We can use Vivetool slash query to find out all of these different things here, and some of these have descriptions, or at least names, that we can use to try and understand what these codes are, as well as their current state. Anyways, it's somewhat helpful, but very cryptic anyway. Running the installer once more, we get into the same number to update it, or we can simply choose the GUI, for example, this time. It'll download and extract, and we can choose to create desktop shortcuts and finally launch it. Now, when you do, you'll see this window here. We can choose a build in the top left. For example, 25370 is the latest dev build, as far as I understand. I'm in fact, Windows Update, Windows Insider Program, a little bit ahead of it, as you can see here, 25375, this is 25370, but you can see features that are always disabled. We can go ahead and enable these if we choose. The always enabled features, we can go ahead and disable. If you wouldn't like one of these for some reason, and there are thousands of these, and at least tons of them have easy to understand names. Expanding disabled by default, you'll usually find some testing things, features enabled by default that we can go ahead and disable should you choose, and finally, features that are modifiable. This list is absolutely massive and goes on forever. These are all of the different hidden switches we can toggle in Windows, enabling or disabling different features and parts of the operating system. Now, of course, it would be pretty much impossible to go through all of these, so you really need to rely on people finding interesting things that you may want to toggle or not toggle. For example, this new gallery, we get enable by running this command here, for example, or these commands. And when it's done, after a quick restart, we should be able to see the gallery in our file explorer. But I think this is only on the Canary update, no, 25300 and above. I should have this, but for some reason, even after running these, I don't. Not entirely sure why, but the feature should be enabled. 
Anyways, this is a really quick installer that'll allow you to mess around with things in a way you may not have seen before. There are tons of little Vive tool tricks that you could use in Windows to test out new and upcoming features. Though just do keep in mind, enabling or disabling any of these features here could result in partial corruption of your operating system as you're enabling things that are in the testing phase, meaning things could go wrong. And if they do go wrong, they may go terribly wrong. So it's a very good idea to test this only with certain features that you trust testing out and just keep in mind that you are testing. If you'd like, you can install this tool on a virtual machine and try out features before they fully release. Not to mention it's not only for Windows 11. There probably are a few switches left on Windows 10 that you can mess around with. But anyways, that's really it for this quick video. So once again, if you found this install script useful, do consider clicking join down below as these scripts do take some time to create and of course maintain. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.